All right, quick question. Have you ever wondered why ice melts or why water boils? Let's break it down. Everything around us is made of tiny, tiny particles called molecules. These guys are always moving. Sometimes they're just wiggling a bit, and sometimes they're bouncing around like they're at a dance party. So, when you heat something up, you're basically giving those particles more energy. When you heat ice, its molecules start moving faster, breaking free from their stiff formation. That's melting. Solid turns into liquid. For ice, this happens at zero degrees Celsius. That's its melting point. But what about boiling? When you keep pumping in heat, those molecules get even wilder. At a certain temperature, they have enough energy to escape from the surface and become a gas. That's boiling. For water, this happens at 100 degrees Celsius. That's its boiling point. But here's a twist. Every substance has its own melting and boiling points, depending on how tightly its molecules stick together. For example, iron melts way, way hotter than ice. Why? Its molecules are locked in super tight, so you need a lot more energy to break them apart. So next time you see a puddle of water or steam rising from a kettle, you'll know it's all about those busy molecules and the energy you give them. Science is literally happening right in front of your eyes. How cool is that? Stay curious!